the witch is still at it. Good evening, everyone. Folks, the witch is still at it, and she's never stopped. I mistakenly and stupidly thought that, you know, while we are still thorns in her side and they can't stand us and everything like that, I sort of thought that they gave up on going after the YouTubers and the viewers, because you're involved in this too, viewers. I thought that they sort of kind of gave up and threw in the towel of coming after us because they were unsuccessful in the past by getting all of us taken down like they wanted. Well, they haven't stopped. And I realized that today after watching this South by Southwest puke fest. Um, they've just changed their tactics. She's changed th her tactics to suppression, coercion, abuse, harassment, and messing with YouTubers' revenues. So let's get started. So back in the spring of eight, of 2022, if most of you were, will recall, that's when a lot of things were going on with Christopher Boozy and the reports that he was putting out and Yankee Wally being taken down from YouTube and things like that. That's when these folks were being very, folks, that's when these scumbags were being very overt with what they were doing, trying to get us taken down. Christopher Boozy tweets, new, in the wake of our report and reporting from Jack Royston, Stokal, and other journalists, YouTube has deranked anti-Megan channels from search results and recommendation recommendations. This is a massive win for Megan, her family, the Sussex squad, and the bot sentinel community. So, these people have been in touch with YouTube. They are able to apply pressure to YouTube. That's been proven here. And we were deranked. That means uh, he'll, we'll, he'll get into that in a second. But um, so it is proven that they still have or that they have pull at YouTube. And why would that go away? Why would I think that these people would let up? Christopher Boozy, now that YouTube has deranked anti-Megan channels from search results and recommendations, their ad revenue will plummet like Rumble. Hate accounts are about to go through some things. Well, like he said, it they don't show this in the search results anymore. And myself and the other YouTubers, while maybe not at the time, our revenues have plummeted, thanks to Meghan Markle. And I'll get into how they're doing that here in a little bit. And this Yoslin Smith writes, you're one, you're one man, you're on your own, yet look at what you've done, what you've achieved. A massive global media space heard you continually knocking at their door, demanding answers. They heard you. Um, there's, like I just said, there's still pressure from the Sussex squad and everybody else on YouTube, and we're just going through it in a different way. Christopher Boozy, it's a pleasure not seeing anti-Megan hate channels in my search. Christopher Boozy, Harry and Megan are lucky to have Sussex Squad supporting them. This amazing group of diverse women from all over the globe has kept the pressure on YouTube, and it seems this strategy is working. Whose strategy, we all have to wonder. You know, this all, like, garnered news media attention. Megan cannot act like she doesn't know that any of this is going on. Christopher Boozy, two down and counting. Now, this was a list of YouTube channels that they wanted taken down. They got two down, one being Sue Smith here. She got her channel back up. We'll get into Sue Smith a little bit later. But, you know, we all knew what was going on. It was obvious that Megan was behind this, et cetera, et cetera, because they were so vocal and overt about it. And then crickets. It just all went away. Like lights out just went away for about a year or so, for about a year. And that's when all of us YouTubers, well, I can't speak for the rest of them, but myself sort of took my eye off the ball with them coming after us. How stupid am I? So the next thing that we hear about is with them doing stuff is this ridiculous Archwell Foundation World Mental Health Day giving voice to families advocating for safer online spaces. And their focus here is children, where Megan famously tells a room full of parents with dead children that being a mother is the greatest thing on earth and how much she loves it, etc., etc. So we didn't really think much, much of this, but we all did... I know I did a video about it, and some of the other YouTubers have talked about it, that they're basically using children as human shields to go after everybody. But 
the YouTubers hadn't really seen anything from Harry and Meghan that they were actually doing to us. So then I saw today her, her, you know, um, whatever it's called, joke. So stick with me if you can get through it. I'll be, I'll be chiming in with comments and then I'll, I'll show you what they're doing to the YouTubers now to try and get us down. It's, it's like a psyop on us. And we're all getting abused and harassed in different ways. But all of our money that we make by doing this, which we should be entitled to, I mean, you know, I mean, there's a lot of time and effort into this, is being messed with. That's tertius interference. <laughs> Megan, uh, I want to come back to you because social media has really become the go-to place for girls and women to be scrutinized, objectified, bullied. Right. And unfortunately, I know that this is something that you are all too familiar with. So how have you been able to manage the seemingly endless toxicity uh, that comes at you? Um, yes, social media is a environment that I think has a lot of that. You know, it's really interesting as I can reflect on it. I keep my distance from it right now just for my own um, well-being. But. Lie detector, term, lie detector test determined that's a lie. The bulk of the bullying and abuse that I was experiencing in social media and online was when I was pregnant with Archie and with Lily and with a newborn with each of them. Um, and you just think about that and you it's really wrap your head around why people would be so hateful. It's not catty, it's cruel. Why you would do that, and certainly when you're pregnant or you have a newborn, we all, as moms, you know it's such a tender and sacred time. And I think, you know... So is it safe to assume then, since you said the bulk of it was when you were pregnant both times or whatever, you know, allegedly, uh, so it's safe to assume that you're okay now then? Everything's good now? You could either succumb to it or nearly succumb to how painful that is, and maybe in some regards, because I was pregnant, that mammalian instinct just kicked in. Do everything you can to protect your child and, as a result, protect yourself, too. But, you know, I think as we look at what's happening in social media, there is so much work to be done in terms of keeping people safe. Uh, keeping me covered and keeping my secrets from getting out. She doesn't care about anybody. Keeping people safe. Get out of here. And that starts as we see what's happening with children. Um, and their exposure to things. Human shields. But also just creating these habits that what I find the most disturbing, frankly, especially as a supporter of women, is how much of the hate is women completely spewing that to other women. And I cannot make sense of that because... Uh, it's a free country. Let's just start there. And just because you're a woman, Megan, doesn't mean that you need to, you can't be criticized. I mean, what, what, and you criticize, we'll get into that. As I understand that there are certain platforms, look, today's a, a really good example. This is being streamed on one of those platforms, and it's also... She's talking about YouTube. So fantastic, because people are going to have access to hear all of this brilliance and all of this insight. And at the same time, it's a platform that has quite a bit of hate and rhetoric and incentivizes people to create pages. You mean people getting paid and then we're going to, their revenue is going to plummet and we're going to mess with their re revenue so they're de-incentivized to talk about me. And we'll get into that. Where they can churn out very, very inciting comments and conspiracy theories that can have a tremendously negative effect on someone's mental health her mental health, but does this woman strike you as somebody that's struggling? I think she's just fine. Um, their physical safety. Security. So I think we have to really take a, a look at that. And does anybody know of a time where Meghan Markle has been threatened or, you know, whatever, but because of something that said somebody said on, on social media, if she was, I'm sure, I'm certain that we would have heard about it. Talking about how many women are in leadership positions, as you're saying, in broadcast, there are a lot of women 
that are at the highest level, executive level, who are great champions of women, who are great philanthropists, and they are working in these spaces, and yet they're allowing this kind of behavior to run rampant. And well, let's go back to something that you said then, Megan. Maybe they're allowing women to have their voice. You said that the bulk of everything is women spewing to women. Well, maybe these feminists are allowing women to have a voice. What did you say? Women don't need already have a voice. They need to be heard or whatever that crap was. that They already had a voice. People need to be encouraged to listen. These women are letting other women speak. You just don't like it. And at a certain point, they have got to put the... You're, so, they're, so, so these women in these po positions of power are supposed to silence thousands upon tens of thousands, if not millions of women's voices to pre protect one woman you, who's a public figure. These women are doing the right thing by not silencing tens of thou thousands, if not w millions of women because of you. Do's behind the says and really make some changes on a systemic level. And then, you know, on the flip side of that, we have a responsibility in all of that. The systemic change has to happen at the same time as the cultural change is happening. Because if you're reading something terrible, terrible about a woman, why are you sharing it with your friends? Why are you? Why not? Choosing to put that out in the world. Why are you lecturing us? What if it was your friend or your mom or your daughter? You wouldn't do it. And I think that is the. Notice how she leaves out sister. What if it was your mom, your friend, or your daughter? Yeah, you left out your sister because you allow the Sussex squad to do and say what they do to her. Piece that is so lost right now in what's happening in the digital space and in certain sectors of the media, we have forgotten about our humanity. And that has- Call your dad. Got to change because I understand there's a bottom line and I understand that a lot of money is being made there. But even if it's making dollars, it doesn't make sense. Fridge magnet platitude. <clears throat> it didn't land well either. Oh, God, that's enough of that. So for the longest time now, all of our YouTube channels um, have been complaining and talking to each other about the various issues that each of us are having. And we're all having different issues, which is interesting. But they're all discour very discouraging issues. But when we talk to one another, we're just blaming YouTube. Well, it's not YouTube. I mean, it is. I guess they're the facilitators. But it's not YouTube. It's Megan. YouTube has nothing to gain by messing messing with our revenues, uh, messing with people's money, um, not showing our videos, not promoting our channels, because that cuts into the bottom line that Megan speaks of. That cuts into them. So what does YouTube have to gain by messing with us? They don't. YouTube is feeling pressure, or they just have a, a few rogue employees, and we'll get to that in a second, too. Pulling these strings uh, behind the scenes, trying to do things to us to try and make us quit. Well, I have news for you, Megan, Sussex Squad, and whoever. You're not going to get us to quit. You can't. You haven't been able to get us down. I'm sure they're still trying to get us down. They've been unsuccess unsuccessful in doing that, so they're trying to discourage us by messing with people's pocketbooks, discouraging them like, oh, my channel's not growing, I guess I'll quit, or people aren't watching my videos, I guess I won't quit. But it's not YouTube, guys. We need to, we need to start pointing the finger at where the finger needs pointed to, and the harassers and the abusers and the interferers and the discouragers and the suppressors are Meghan Markle and Sarah Data. Now, we all know it's Megan. As, an, as I went through with you at the beginning of the video, they were able to get us deranked and, and things like that. And um, I think Harry has is involved with some sort of organization that's involved with Google, who owns YouTube. And now Sarah Data has been unmasked and unveiled. I'm not going to show her identity here because uh, I really don't care about her. Um, but 
she works for Google. That was suspected and it has now been confirmed. So all she has to do is make a few phone calls or talk to a few of her co-workers to put little bugs in place or however they do it to mess with our channels. These people are abhorrent. Change your behavior and we won't have anything to talk about anymore. First, I want to start with um, a channel that you guys probably aren't familiar with because they haven't shown it, of course, uh, called That's That Stupid Stuff, The Sussex Quo, The Sussex Show. Now, she's absolutely wonderful. Now, she's made 464 videos, and she only has 3.9 thousand subscribers. Let's take a look at her channel real quick. So this is her channel, and she makes great videos. Now, what is jumping out at you here, folks? She's of a certain demographic, so three guesses as to why her channel's not being promoted and being suppressed, because they can't stand to have a member of the same demographic, half demographic, as Megan talking about her. So I'm going to put her, cha this, her channel link in the video description box, so please subscribe to her channel, but, you know, it, it, it's not rocket science as to why they're suppressing her channel. She's fabulous. So, and she wrote me, hi, love, I'm stuck. Can you please give me another shout out on your channel? I would appreciate it. She's stuck because they're not showing it. Then I want to touch on the Royal Grift real quick. So the Royal Grift, who does very well, is messed with in a different way. So they hide the last person's channel and suppress that. The Royal Grift has done very well. However, of late, um, and I looked at her numbers and they're down for, you know, whatever reason, uh, I think suppression, but she, about six months ago or more, she hit 100,000 subscribers. Six months ago or more. And now she only has 103,000 subscribers. Make that make sense. Now we're going to get to me and what sort of sparked this video. And I was working on it last night and then Megan did her thing today. So I made a video and it only got, and I don't have an ego problem to where I'm like, oh, nobody's, nobody's watching my video or they don't like me or, you know, whatever the story is. That's not the issue because, you know, Sometimes people will, won't watch a video, but the videos always hit a certain threshold. Even your lowest videos, there's always a threshold. My threshold is like 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 of my lowest videos. Well, the one I put out yesterday was 7,000 7, views, and now it's been a whole day, and that's all I got. So I, I messaged YouTube, and I'm like, What's going on? My viewers say they don't get the notifications in, in XYZ, and they said, prove it. So I did a little poll. Do you get notifications for new videos that I put out? And folks, it's the year 2024. They, they go to space, they go to Mars, they do God knows whatever, and, and YouTube can't fix them, and YouTube's got bugs in their systems. I don't think so. Do you get no they said everything in the system's fine. Do you get notifications for new videos that I put out? 46% said yes. 33% said sometimes. 21% said no, I have to go to your page to look for them. So over half of you are not getting notified when I put out a video. Why? And everybody's got their notifications on. Over half that's suppression. Something's going on. You're not going to discourage me, Megan. It doesn't matter. As long as one person watches my video and knows how big of a scumbag you are, that's good enough for me. Then, you know, I get a lot of subscribers. I have 28... I have 28,000 subscribers. I get a lot of subscribers say, why isn't your channel bigger? Why isn't your channel bigger? You should have a ton more subscribers. That's a good question, folks. I've been at this for a year and a half and I only have 28,000 and I'm, and I'm grateful for all of those. But some of my peers who started at the same time or after me have a ton more subscribers than I do. Why? And we all know Harry and Megan don't like me. They put me in their love story. 
my channel is being suppressed. My videos are being suppressed. And I did a video that got 80, 89,000 views. And no, YouTube cannot have the credit for that because it, it was during the Super Bowl and I put NFL uh, hashtags in there. But that's 60,000 more views views than I have subscribers and I only got 800 new subscribers out of that. Make that make sense. And then I've been explaining to some of the other YouTubers. So when I would watch YouTube videos of, of the other channels, it you right after it used to roll into the other YouTube channels that I watch. Well, YouTube isn't doing that anymore. They're rolling it into corporate channels. They're not showing the other YouTubers to me after these videos. I'm wondering if they're doing the same for you guys. Uh, YouTube told me that I had my settings wrong. I don't watch those corporate channels. Now they're shoving them down my throat, and I'm not seeing the other YouTubers. Then we have these guys. Uh... Proper wise guy, um, motivation spe specialist, Ibble Dibble, POV, and Megan Small. They've all been harassed because they got demonetized. That's a form of harassment. Now, they've all gotten, Megan Small, it took a little while for them to re-monetize her, but POV, proper wise guy, and Ibble Dibble got demonetized, and then they immediately, after a couple days or after a week or so, got remonetized. So that means that somebody just flipped a switch on them. Something set it off, and they got demonetized. This is harassment. A lot of people, if they get demonetized, will quit. Not us, but they're trying to discourage us. There's a pattern here, folks. And now it comes to Sue Smith. Now, Sue Smith, as far as I'm concerned, and I'm sure as far as Sue Smith is concerned, um, and please support her channel if you're not already. Uh, go to I'll put the link in the description box also. Sue Smith is getting it the worst out of all of us, the abuse and harassment from YouTube. Why? I'm not I'm not going to go into the details of of what they do to her. I think she she speaks a lot about that, but it's not my place to say. But I know she goes through a lot of some of the other things that we do, like the suppression, the non-growth, the non-notifications and things like that. Why? Sue Smith is the most G-rated channel out of all of our channels and she has the most trouble. Now, Sue Smith has famously gotten involved, um, gotten into some tiffs with Christopher Boozy. A lot of us had in the past, but they they took her channel down, and her channel that her channel never quite seemed to recover after that. She's had trouble ever since, and that was in the spring of 2022. Christopher Boozy. In less than a week, YouTube has terminated a second anti Megan Hay channel. My lawyer sent Sue a cease and desist letter regarding videos about my family, and she laughed about the letter in one of her videos. I bet she isn't laughing now. I need to log off for a bit. I'm about to go do the backstroke in Long Sally's Tears. So there's that. So does it have something to do with that? All of these people have connections within the tech community, and I'm not accusing Christopher Boozy of anything. Um, but, you know, it, these things just add up. And that's when it was all over, and they're still doing things to us. These are some of the commenters on Sue Smith's channel. You were deleted from my account as well. And this is Sue Smith's stuff, but we all go through this. Never realized it until another channel advised me to go to your site for more information. Hi, Sue. I have a reminder for when your videos are up on YouTube to go look for them. YouTube hides them. Your channel and most H&M not friendly channels are having this issue, sadly. And viewers, they're coming after you, too. They they delete your comments. They're not showing you the videos that you want to. I think there are some sugars working for YouTube. What's with YouTube? Unsubscribing members. This is manipulation in favor of somebody we all know. You can say that again. I'm not getting most of my subscribed channels at all. I have to go out and find them. They get circulated out, and I actually get unsubscribed channels coming through all the time. Me too, Winky Blink. I get yours 70% of the time. But there was a, a time earlier in the year when I did not get yours. I had to go look for them. Hi, Sue. I didn't get notified for Monday, Wednesday, but one on Friday, so a bit scattered. I live in Florida, U.S. I no longer get any notifications on your videos, and I tried unsubscribing and then resubscribing, and that made it worse. I have to unsub and resub every few days. Very strange.
Sue, I have found myself being unsubscribed daily from channels like yours that should be top of my watch list. YouTube, there is something going on. This is true in Scotland, and I miss them every day. I received notifications for three of the videos, but did not get the one for page six coffee. I often don't get notification of your videos. I am subscribed and the bell. So as far as Sue Smith goes, Sue Smith put four videos out today. And I'm subscribed, and I have I have the notifications on, and I do everything that it, they say that's supposed to. YouTube did not show me one of those videos. Not on my cell phone, not on my iPad, and not on my laptop. And a lot of my viewers have said, you don't even come up in the search, Duchess of Narcissics. Sometimes I can't even find you on YouTube at all. So... There's something going on. It's just our community. Why? Megan's the biggest whiner and crier. It's been proven at the beginning of the video. They do have power at YouTube. And if they don't have power at YouTube, they know how to apply the pressure on YouTube. They're just not being overt about it anymore. And they've made us, I can, well, I can't, they made me take my eye off of the ball with them. We know they've been working to sus suppress speech and we've talked about that, but I've, at least I've failed in talking about what they're doing to us. So I'm back in the game. I'm re-engaged, witch. So that's all I can say. Let me know in your in the comments uh, from the office of the Duchess of Narcissics. Let me know in the comments of what you think is going on here. They're trying to discourage. They're still trying to get us taken down, of course, but they're trying to discourage something's going on at YouTube. And it's not good, and they better fix it. Talk to you later.